Hi everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life, or hello for the first time. Today um, we're going to have another unboxing because the weather's turned to custard. Um, through my archery, um, there's one thing I've always wondered, and that is how fast my bows throw my arrows. And what different limbs do, f different arrows, and the speed they go through. So I went online and did a bit of research and I bought myself a chronograph. Now not only will it do arrows, it will do um, bullets, pellets, all those type of things as well. However, I'm going to be using it for my arrows and my bows and how fast each of them um, throw the arrow out of it. So what we're going to do is have a look at the one I've bought and how easy it is to put together and uh, yeah, see how it works. So stay with me. So hello again to everyone. So the chronograph. The one I bought was the, just trying to see, the Pro Chronograph. It's not the deluxe version. Um, so it only shows the reading on the chronograph itself. The deluxe version, I believe, is Bluetooth and can send it to an app on your phone. I don't need that because I use my phone anyway for the videos. So let's have a look at what we've got. Stay there and I'll bring you down. So here we have it. The Pro Chronograph 2.0. Now this says 299 but I got it on a special offer and I think I paid two oh that's in dollars Kiwi dollars I think I paid 239 for it so quite cheap So this is the box it comes in um yeah it came really quickly from the place here and I think you can get them in a few places uh, Amazon, I think you can sell it, get it on as well. Um, I just got it from a local company so I could get it quicker. So, what is it? Direct velocity readout, nine string memory, so you can take a number of shots and uh, have them in there and you can review and get stats from it. It says it's made in the USA. Now, I know a lot of people, especially our American friends, um, like when stuff's made in the USA. Me, I don't really care. I'll just buy usually the cheapest as long as it's good. Nowadays, most things are made in uh, China anyway, so a lot of the stuff I do is get from China. But this was a really good price, so I thought I'd check it out. Um, talks about package contents, the chronograph itself, guide wires, diffuser hoods, operating booklet, and it requires one 9 volt battery, which isn't included. And you can also get some optional extras like lighting for indoors, um, which is pretty good. There's also a space for a spare 9 volt battery as well if you want to. Um, it's got a little hole in the bottom where you can attach it to a um, tripod. And I'll be doing that when I test it out. And yeah, let's have a look what's inside it. So we can open up inside. We have our instruction booklet and we know what we all do with this we read it um, yeah it just tells you how to use it and uh, yeah putting it together so put that just on the side next we have the unit itself plastic on off button on the side uh, this does have a hole that says connect and I think you can connect it to a display readout or there is a possibility I think on the deluxe version that it will run off DC power as well. Um, on the bottom you've got the point for where you can attach it to a tripod it screws in at the bottom. It's a 9 volt battery compartment with room for a spare battery so that's where your one plugs into and as you can see the plug in bit is just there and this bit is for a spare one, so you should always have a spare battery. Nothing on that side, nothing on the back, sorry, nothing on the back. At the top here, that's where the light comes out and the shades go, and at the front. And here we have where the readout comes. And you've got some buttons as well. 
delete shot, delete string. So if you've got one shot, you can delete that, get another one. If you've got a string, that means a number of uh, different shots. Yeah, you can delete the string of them. They call it a string, it's just a number of them. So it, it did say at the beginning, it will take up to or store up to nine shots in a string. Pretty good. It will redisplay what you've shot. You can change a string. So you can do, a, say, one set of arrows using the bow and the limbs. Then you can change your arrows. Say, go from what I'm going to do is go from my Skylons to the VAPs, and we can check the difference between the two. And then you can review everything as well. So that is the main unit. The other things we have are our shades that fit over the top. And the wires that the shades fit to. So what we'll quickly do, put these together. So take those out. It's pretty simple. I don't even have to look at the instructions for this. One, two. So they just slot in and hold in position. So, one, two. Real simple. Here we have our chrono. And I believe it's just slide in. On top, and then one, two. Uh, let me lift you up a fraction so you can see it. There it is in all its glory. Yeah, dun dun dun. And what you do is you turn it on and shoot the arrow through there. So, what I will do now is I'll go and grab a couple of nine volt batteries. We'll turn it on in here just to show you it up and running and then when the weather turns a bit better we'll take it outside lob some arrows through it and just see how good it is at reading so stay with me so i'm cheap i went and bought a, uh, an eight pack of these things they're called brighter batteries um that's probably chinese but they're nine volt I've got one of them in my uh, range finder, and that's another thing I'm going to be getting shortly, a new range finder, because mine's a bit dead. But what we'll do is we'll just put these in and show you how easy it is. So we'll just put them on the side. Flip open. It's okay, I'm just moving so you can see. Clip that on. One, two. Fits in, spare battery goes in as well, so they're both fitting in there. Put this back in. So that's in, that's on. And if we now turn on on the side, I believe, there we go. Just going through and it's ready. It's that quick and it's ready for its first arrow or whatever to be shot through so here we are with the chronograph outside it's all set up ready to go um it's quite close range and we'll just have to see how it works um i'm going to have a little camera at the front on just so you can see the scores that i'm getting and i can actually show you hang on a second if you wait so there you go you can see the setup i've got chronograph target me Oop. and what i'm going to do is i'm going to weigh the arrows because i've got my scales here show you the weight and then we'll shoot the arrows and see how fast they go and i've got my competition bow and my topoid chinese bow with the new nika limbs so let's see how this goes first of all we'll weigh the arrow and the first one i'm going to do i've got my 600 spine Skylon Performer. I've got my Skylon Paragon 600 Spine. I've got my Victory VAP 700 Spine. 
and I've got my Victory VAP 600 spine. So we'll just see the speed through each of the bows and I'll do two arrows each for each of the bows and we'll just see the speeds that we get. So first of all we'll weigh them and we'll start with the performers and we'll stick two through the uh, chronograph see how fast using both bows so hang on I'll just weigh them so that's in grains so that's nice and flat so not touching anywhere that's 310 point the winds affecting it a bit that's the wind so if we say around 311 rains so what you would have just seen is this performer is 311 grains so what we'll do is we'll shoot it through both bows and see what speed we get Starting off with the toe point unison with the Nika limbs, 38, 36 pounds. So let's see what we get. One nine two. So that was 192 and 193. Now we'll look at the Hoyt Nexus with the Uka limbs, 40 pound limbs, but they're set at 36 pound. So the Hoyt with the Eucalyptus 197, both of them, the other one 193, 194. So there's a bit of speed difference between the two. So what I'm going to do now is collect my arrows and we'll look at shooting um, the Skylon. Which ones are they now? This is the Paragon, so the more expensive ones. So I'll just get my arrows. So we'll just check the weight of the Paragons. 325 point... 325... Ugh, they're blowing around all over the place at the moment. 325 for the Paragons. So they're slightly heavier than the performers. So yeah, slightly heavier. Um, we'll see how they shoot. And I'll start with the toe point again. Ninety-three. One 
my seven. Nine six. So, what do I think of this? Maybe if I get it around the right way, it's off now. Um, yeah, it's a good chronograph. It shot or it caught the uh, speed of the arrows really well. Um, I do have a slug gun, so I may even try that for it. Um, see how that goes. Um, but overall, for the price, if you want to check the speed of your arrows, a very, very good piece of kit. It can show you lots of different things. It can show you how easy it is just between different limbs of the same poundage, which we've got here, the speed between the two. You're looking anywhere between five and 10 feet per second. And over long distances, that can be hell of a lot. What I want to do in the future is put my new Nika limbs up against the old Hoyt G3s, which are a very good limb. Um, I will tr also try them against my Mybo Synergy Air limbs. They're a foam limb, a little bit younger than the uh, Hoyts, but um, yeah, same poundage, and it'll be good to see the difference between these limbs and what you can get. And as I said, in the future, I want to get a set of those um, Nika N3 Progress limbs. I'll get it right now. Um, just to see how matched they are in speed wise to the original Uka limbs. And I, as I say, I love my Uka limbs. Shooting them there, it felt easy, smooth. Um, so I'm gaining in strength at the moment. I've just got to keep shooting, 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 and we'll see how it goes. But as for this thing, good bit of kit um, for 200 and I think it was 239 Kiwi dollars here in New Zealand. Oh, it's 250 here in New Zealand. So what you look in half that in pounds and then 250, 175, no, 125. I have to think then. So 125 pounds. It's a good bit of kit and you can get so many different things from it. Great for your club if you've got one. Guys can shoot through it. Just remember, shoot through here, don't shoot through here. I have known people who have accidentally shot the front of it. A bit buggered if you do that. So, all in all, the Pro Chrono Limited or LTD, good bit of kit, thoroughly recommended, not sponsored by anyone. Have a great day. Don't forget the dad joke. Here it comes. So here's one that you're really, really going to love. So where do pirates get their hooks? At the second hand store. I am so sorry, but they're getting better. I will catch you next time. Keep shooting, keep practicing and have a great day. Bye bye.